Good morning. Praise be the Lord. Yes, the bishop and the neggy machine. Now, when I was working in London, I worked in a bento factory for a short while. And uh, somehow I, I do think that people's uh, inner emotions take over sometimes. And I was putting neggy through the neggy machine to cut up into small pieces to put in bentos. <clears throat> yes. And I shoved in like an idiot. Of course, archbishops are idiots too. Uh, and I shoved my finger too far in and I sliced off the top of my finger. And I can tell you, don't do it. It's very painful. But at the company, there were some very uh, switched on Indonesian boys about in, well, early 20s, something like that. And uh, what he decided to do was to cover the gaping end of my finger with blood gushing out in salt to kill all the germs. Now let me tell you this. You've heard of the phrase putting salt on the wound. Well, exactly. It's very fucking painful. Anyway, so I went to the hospital and they sorted out my finger. About two or three millimetres was sliced off the top. And uh, I finished work early, of course. And I phoned my friend Alec. And I said, uh, let's meet <laughs> at the pub next to the hospital. And the name of the pub was called the Bishop's Finger. Now, some of you in London might know this pub and can verify it. But if you look at my... Uh, if, you can, if you can look at my fingers there... You can see one is, a, I don't know if you can tell it from there, but one is, a, it did regrow, but one is a little uh, of a funny shape, this right one here. Because that was my neggy poking in machine finger. Anyway, so that's the story of the bishop and the neggy machine. Please be careful when using neggy. Bye bye.